It wasn't something that it, I was conscious about it. Um, almost like dance found me and rescued me. I felt in love with it. So it was almost like a dream for me. Um, still is. I started dancing in Argentina, where I'm from, and I come from a very poor family. Um, my country is beautiful, but the economy always goes up and down, sadly. Um, so my family was struggling a little bit. I mean, my father worked really hard, but it wasn't enough. So my mother started looking for free tuition for me. and. I got into the school, the Institute of the Theater Colon in Buenos Aires. Um, I was lucky um, to start working when I was very young, so I went through the ranks very early. To be a dancer in the Susan Ferrer Ballet is, I think it's almost like a privilege. It's the most, it's one of the most beautiful things that can happen to a dancer. The way she encourages you and she makes you a better person, a better artist, I think it's, it's, it's a gift. I don't know from life or from someone that it was given to me. Like so, I'm so grateful for that. I believe I, I truly believe that as an artist, you always need to keep learning. I think the day you you think, oh, I'm the ballerina, I wanna be, that's the day that actually. Your career, your, you as an artist, you start going down. Uh, also in life, I think you constantly keep learning and learning and learning. And to work with Susan, to work with someone that is willing to give so much, her dancers would say, like, she always gives us freedom. And what that means, I think, is like, she trusts us, we trust her. To have a person that you trust in front of you and is so positive, I think that is the best you can have. It's a gift that I'm trying to embrace every single day. The music, the lights, the costumes, the sets, the energy of having live orchestra, the energy of the audience in front of you. You cannot see them, but you can feel them sometimes. I think it's magic. And to create magic for someone else, I think it's beautiful, so thank you for that. <laughs>